Okay, here we go again, balding white guy on the internet ranting about languages is what we all live for. Now, in my previous video, I spoke about comprehensible input and how I saw the over-reliance upon comprehensible input as a bad thing, specifically among language learners. And then I started to present the reasons for why it was a bad thing and why you should also be grinding languages. Remember what I said? You should also be grinding languages because comprehensible input is just one tool in your toolbox in order for you to learn languages. What you need to do is grind every day. That is the main thing. How you grind does not matter. In my previous videos, I presented how I grinded, but I'm not saying that is the only method. It is the method sent down by God, evil deer himself, blessed upon the all. No, I did not say that. I said it was just a method. But of course, everyone took what I said in complete great faith, like good faith. They built up these amazing evil deer straw men, and then they started to set them on fire, lynch them, attack them, pitchfork them, murder them. And I was sitting here in the shadows going, holy shit, hope they don't find the real one. <laughs> Okay, that was starting to get a little bit dark, but let's get back to the point of this video. So, comprehensible input is one tool. In fact, it is part of a two-part system, I guess. So on the left-hand side, you've got your active... Why am I... Is this left? I don't know. Because, I, I, like, cameras are reversed. Okay, on one side, you've got your active study, where you do your sentence grinding, and you're learning words progressively. So you're adding words into your sentences of... Obviously, that are made up of words you already know, and you're grinding these words in order to rapidly advance what you understand and I presented in my video how to do that however I took it as just complete common sense that you would also need to watch a lot of videos you would also need to actually use the language talk with people chat online like that is completely obvious you don't need to say that but apparently I do need to say that so let me stress that there's two parts you're grinding and then you're using okay it's that simple. Now, a lot of people presented me with lots of different edge cases about how they learned a language within one year or something. Like, for example, like, I, I don't care if you went down to Antarctica and you learned Antarcticanese from the king of the penguins, man. Most of us can't do that. Well, I'm sitting here at home as a game programmer working every day. I've got like two hours a day. I cannot immerse in the language for eight hours, 12 hours, go live in the country. I'm talking to everyday Jimmy, the guy down the road who doesn't know the difference between a noun and his own butt. I'm trying to present the most effective means for the vast majority of people. You know, the people who sit in the middle of the bell curve, not for the geniuses at one side or the people at one side who have like unlimited time in their day. So I'm talking to that guy who wants to learn a language within, let's say, two years. Maybe less, maybe more. Because that's what is feasible for the normal person. Two years is like you're, you're learning pretty fast. Three years is what the average person can do. And then with other methods or like if you're not really dedicated, it's a lot longer than that. So I'm presenting methods for these people. The edge cases do not matter because they're edge cases. So just remember, at the end of the day, it takes up two parts. You've got your grind, which is your sentences, progressively overloading them, and then your passive use of the language. Okay, guys? It's really not that hard. Let's keep it simple. Let's not overthink this process. It's like working out at a gym. If you don't go and work out your muscles, you know, the active part, you can't use your muscles to beat up little Jimmy, you know, the passive part. That's just how it works, okay? And just like beating up Jimmy might teach you new techniques for how to beat up Jimmy, and therefore you improve your active part, it's not the best way to improve your muscles. You're not gonna go out on the street every day beating up all the little Jimmies in order to build up your muscles. First go to the gym, work out, then you can beat up little Jimmy. Now, I hope no one in the comment section <laughs> is named Jimmy because you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Anyway, we're at the end of this video. Uh, if you've liked this video, you guys know what you need to do. You need to like it, share it, blah, 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 all of you, that's standard YouTube stuff. But specifically for those who don't like it and don't come back, I will find you and I will progressively unload on your face.